So tell me, what's the number one question you guys get asked what, with your customers when they come in? Why is my pond green? <laughs> Probably the most common one. Algae, that, that mm -hmm. dreaded, dreaded foe. Okay, yeah. Now, yeah, so this uh, 15 years, I've heard that 97,000 times. So yeah. it's crazy. Yeah, and, and I'm I'm the same. Just from anyone I, I've talked to, it's always the same thing. So so on that algae topic, what uh, what is your number one remedy for it? Generally, the first thing we recommend is a U, we ask if they have a UV filter. So that's a very big part of combating the algae, but at the same time, making sure they have enough filtration, maybe adding more plants to their system, th basically things like that. The filtration is really the key. Yeah, there's always a checklist. So as far as like a consumer approaching us or even a client calling for service or something of that nature, it's usually how large is the pond? How many fish do you have? What type of filtration do you have? Do you have plants? Where is your aeration? Is it subsurface? Do you have a waterfall? Do you have constant movement 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365? Um, then obviously the, the proper water treatments. We don't use chemicals, but you know about the natural bacteria and enzyme products and stuff like that. that that's, that's our checklist, really, those five keys. Filtration, UV, plants, air, water treatments. Do you find that uh, location is key, not so much around the country, but as far as full sunlight versus shaded trees, that sort of thing, does that have much of an impact? It definitely can have an impact. And a lot of times the pond needs to be designed for where they're putting it. So I've seen many full sun ponds work just fine, but they generally need a lot more plants and maybe higher filtration, maybe more water movement as well and more aeration. Right. Meanwhile, shaded ponds, you can be a little, maybe a little less plants in that you don't need quite as much filtration. Yeah, we have multiple water features here on the property and literally there'll be a pond 10 feet away from each other, two separate features. They have different types of filtration, different types of fish inside them, but they operate totally different. One might be one way one day, one might be another the other day, depending on the, the way the building is reflecting or what's in it or what gets blown into it. Um, but every single water feature pond, no matter what it is, it's its own entity. It has its own life. And that's why it's a great thing to have an ecosystem without a doubt. So it's a living, breathing thing for sure. Yep. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, gentlemen, for your time today. Uh, all the best for your, your company. I, I'm sure it's going to do well and, and thrive uh, given uh, the topics we've talked about today. So thank you so much for your time. I do appreciate it. Thanks thank for you, talking Mark. to us. Have a good one. You too. I hope you enjoyed this video today, guys, and you found it helpful. Before you leave, don't forget to check out one of my other videos here you see on the screen. As well, don't forget to subscribe. You'll be notified as soon as I put out another one. And a thumbs up, always appreciated. Thanks for watching, guys.